Bonjour on YouTube, it's Trevor here, Summit or Nothing. Out in the garden today, I'm having a look at two nature hike tents. One is the Mongar 2, which I got from Colin from Outdoor Gear Essentials last week. The link in the description below. Whilst I was putting up the Mongar 2, someone asked me if I could do a comparison between the Mongar 2 and the Nature Hike Star River 2. So I've sourced myself this week a Star River 2 to do exactly that. If you are new to Summit or Nothing, then this is the one place to come to find some of the most extensive tent reviews on YouTube. Catch up with all our previous videos, be they tent reviews or wild camping out on the hills. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and ring that bell for more updates. I haven't done a tent comparison for a little while. So first of all, let's have a look at package size. But they seem to be fairly sort of similar size. Uh, both of these I've set up and have packed myself. So the Mongar 2 is just a little bit taller, but you could probably pack it down a bit better than I already have there. So we won't hold that against it. Next is weight. So I've got my digital scales. There's a link in the video description to these scales as well as the tents. They're really handy. I love them. Okay, so the Star River 2 comes in at 216. 2.16 kilograms and this has the mat inside it as well I've wrapped it all up together so that's the floor mat and the tent the Mongar 2 exactly the same 216 I'm going to set them both up side by side and we'll sort of look at them in the process of setting up so first thing I'm going to do I'm going to get them both set up with just the mat and the frame and then I'll have a look and see what's different this is the Mongar 2 I'm taking out here Separate it all in a minute. Get the mat out. And the poles. Go together fairly easy. So that's the Mongar frame, I'm going to set that up over there and then go and do the Star River. I used to have much more room in my garden until we bought the bloody trampoline for the kids. So there we go, I got the two frames set up. Let's talk you through the differences at this stage. Now this is the Mongar in front of us here and the Star River at the back. If you can see the Mongar floor mat is ever so slightly shorter than the Star River. And we'll move that around. It's a good thing about these freestanding tents isn't it? and you can see there as well ever so slightly narrower also if we look at the frame the Mongar 2 is the same size front and back there is no front and back it's sort of all the same size frame okay whereas the Star River has a larger area colored red at the front and then a smaller sort of apex there coloured grey now the colour coding comes in handy when you fit the inner in so you know where the front and the back is you know so it gives you a little bit more height up the front and a bit, it gives it a bit more sleep but not essential difference there's a couple of differences with the cross member this is the Star River and it's on a metal cross member see and it's also quite narrow across whereas the Mongar 2 is quite a bit wider but it's kept on a plastic cross member would that be as durable as metal I don't know so that's the differences at this stage now I'm going to get the inners in and then we'll have another look again
cake, so there's both set up now. Bearing in mind this model here, Star River isn't a brand new tent, that's a second hand tent, but it's in good condition. Huge differences you notice straight away are that this is, apart from the bathtub bottom, it's all mesh. So that is sort of for the summer really. It's going to be quite breezy around the edges of that. Whereas the Star River 2, sort of the material doesn't come up all the way. It's still a lot of mesh on top, but the bottom is probably a little bit more shielded to any weather that's going to come in underneath. What I did notice is that on the floor mat, as well as the inner, you've got the clips for the outer skin to peg into. So if you wanted to use it like a tarp for just the ground sheet and the outer skin, you can clip them together. You can hang the outer skin over the frame and then clip them together here into the outer skin. Whereas the Mongar 2 doesn't have that on the, on the floor mat. There is no clip, only on the inner skin. But they got metal tags on the Mongar and the ends of the poles go through them a lot better. So when you're moving them around, they all stay together. Whereas on the Star River, the ends, they tend to like, if you move them around, you know, they still go through metal, but these are a bit looser and tend to fall off just like that when you move them around. It's just a minor difference. This isn't pegged down yet, but you can see that the tent is exactly the same size as the mat. And the same over here. So it does suggest that there's a little bit more space inside the Star River 2. Uh, other differences I've noticed, the clips on here, the plastic clips that you clip the tent up with, the tent to the pole, this is one that just clips over like so, whereas on the Mongar 2 it's these clips that you push up and twist to snick into place. Also the hanging the cross member, oh I've done that wrong, it's meant to be over. I've done them both wrong. <laughs> Hanging the cross member, you've got a metal tag to go through on the Mongar 2, whereas on the Star River, it just feeds into the end of this, like a pocket on the material there. Okay, what I've done now is I've swapped these over so that they're going over the top. Now this is what everyone says that you're supposed to put them over the top and it pulls it tighter. But is it putting a lot of strain on this? I don't know. I suppose windy conditions you'll tell if any of these are more durable than the other, be it metal or plastic. Now I'm ready to peg out and then put the fly sheets on and then we'll have a closer look at both tents. Okay, so that's the skin for the Mongar gone on. And it's gone on fairly easy because it doesn't matter which way round, it's front and back, it pulled on fairly, fairly well. And then you can pull the straps down here to get the seams tightened. So it's, it's a little bit out, but we can always play around with that. But it's not going anywhere. So now onto the Star River. So best thing to do is to find the black straps they're your back. They go to your back to the grey and then at the front the clips are red. So we found the front and the back. Set them in. Still got a couple of pegs left for each to tie off onto guy lines. So you've got additional places for guy lines here. These are for the doors. So there's three extra guy lines, three extra places to attach guy lines and three extra pegs. Um, you can see here we've got the window on the Star River. Let some air through. It's like a bit of foam inside, Velcro. Just attach it there. That pops the window open. 
what I have noticed on the Star River but isn't on the Mongar is these little clips here. There's this hanging from the outer skin which attaches to the inner and it'll keep them separated but also pulls them you can pull that tighter I mean all, all the nature hike has real easy to adjust straps so you can pull that tighter and it pulls the inner tighter as well but keeps them separated the inner and the outer from touching now it's got that on front and back we've got one this side here as well i won't bother attaching it for now because when you take them apart you've got to detach them anyway but apart from that it looks like that's a bit more roomy doesn't it because you've got more headroom at the front than this seems a bit smaller and a bit lower down but with the mongar 2 open the door the door rolls up out of the way like that hooks up and then the internal door also rolls up and you can tuck it up here out of the way oh a bit tight oh can't get it up and in there yeah. it was a bit fiddly but i got it there in the end so the door tucks up you've got this can go out tighter So both tents have two side doors, but on the Mongar they're opposite on each side. So whereas this one opens this side with the flap there, come over to this side and this will be the opener. So the flap will be this side on the opposite side. So you can alternate. If you've set up and then the wind changes direction, as it often does, you can like, if it's coming from this way, you can close that door up and use that the other side, open the other side door and you can still cook in your vestibule shielded from the wind. With the Star River, you can choose which sash, which door you have open. You can with this one, to be fair, they'll both tuck up. You can see you've got the tassels on there and on here you've got one there and over there so you can choose which doors you open up but the star river door if you look at this door opens up from the bottom from the bottom to the bottom and it falls down here so to tuck it in you roll it up and there's two loops either side at the bottom i don't know if that's better or worse i suppose that could get wet being down here but that's one of the differences with the doors so the other differences I noticed now I'm going to get some gear we're going to stick them in the tents and see if either of them feel more roomy or not so let's have a look at that so what I've got here is my OEX roll mat it's one of the biggest roll mats I have so we'll just open it up self inflator stick it in so this is the Mongar 2 and it fits in there nice and snug so it fits in there lovely there's room either end you could even fit two you could easily fit another mat in there next to that and then you've got plenty of room in the vestibules to keep each other's bags and shoes things like that so there's lots of room in here on the inside as we look we have got additional ties on the outside now I said I probably wouldn't use them because I haven't used them in the past but then someone did point out to me last week that um, if you did use them it would probably make it stronger in the wind it certainly keep it all together wouldn't it stop it flapping about so Maybe if you knew it was going to be windy, you could tie those on. The Star River over there doesn't have that. But then we've got additional pockets here. The either end, a pocket either end. And 
yeah I'm sitting up we've got this mesh bit here that dangles a bit I mean I'm sitting up I am it's touching my head a little bit but it's nothing to sort of cry about so now we're going to stick this in here and see how this looks oh yeah it doesn't look any less room to be fair looks about the same and again there's more room here should you need to put more on as you come in here there's definitely more headroom in here i'm sitting up my head is well away from the internal skin it's a bit shallower on the sides the sides seem to creep in a bit but that's because it's not as long a wider pole um, so if you was sort of one either side that might be a bit of a you know you've got the side imposing on you a bit if there's two of you in here but then you can sit just until you go to sleep you can sit in the middle at either end now the pockets are like in here a lot better to be honest there's an extra one here look up the top there's the pocket here so there's three pockets in here whereas i suppose the Mongar 2 has the mesh up the top so you can stash things in there as well still a lot of room here in the vestibules as we say you can alternate the doors to sort of protect from the wind so yeah there we go so there you go that's both of the tents the Mongar and the Star River side by side give you a bit of an idea what differences there are if there's anything you think I've missed that you've noticed, then please feel free to comment below. And, and if you're interested in either of these, then I'll put links below. I'll put a link to the Mongar 2 through Colin's site, which is uh, Outdoor Gear Essentials. So thanks again, Colin, for sending me that one. So that's it. If you want to see any more tent reviews or hiking, wild camping videos, then please make sure you've subscribed. And uh, I'll see you all again soon. Cheers.